And you shared a story with me, and I, I would love for you to share it about um, someone who you talked to recently that you encouraged to do the same thing. Can you share that with us? Because I thought that was really, really powerful. Absolutely. Well, first of all, <clears throat> going back to that day, it was, uh, man, you hit so many, we call them golden nuggets in our district. Just so many things that re resonated with me. And uh, man, when I start to think about and hear you say that, you know, you don't have to reinvent who you are, what you're doing is already there. You just got to tell your story. And man, that just hit, that's just weighed on me and weighed on me. And so we immediately start to think about, hey, how can I to tell the story. It was very unique. It was over the weekend and we had our weekly uh, leadership meeting. And uh, so what we typically do is we'll go out like it's pretty traditional. We'll visit our campuses and we come back and we do a series called Grows and Glows. Uh, we don't like to say, hey, what's bad about your uh, your campus. We like to say, hey, an opportunity for us to grow. And then things that we start with are glows. And so <clears throat> we decided that to do a little bit different than coming back and do it the old antiquated Dewey Decimal System way of just preaching out to what people saw is that I challenged them to uh, take this video approach and we're going to you send it through uh, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, whichever you had. And so I'm going to model this and so I modeled exactly what you did to me. I asked anybody who would like to, to do this. I had a, a taker, my um, special ed director. She said, I'll do it. She came up, I asked her the question um, and I told her that, uh, you know, I'm going to record it. So I let her practice. Then after that, we recorded it. And then uh, we, uh, we, we videoed that and I shot it out to Twitter and I, I tag you on it. Uh, well, tagging you on it, I'm sure was the uh, the the instigator. But you know, we had over ten thousand hits uh, by the end of the day. Oh, on, that's awesome! On, on that particular video, and so we went back and we used that mantra, recreated our hashtag Chapel Hill ISD, and uh, so we went around that day, and all these administrators, probably forty or so of them in the room, are infiltrating all of our campuses, and our goal was to record. Uh, what they saw that was great on our campuses and hashtag Chapel Hill ISD. And it just went uh, that one day. It was amazing the impact Absolutely. it had throughout. And so we also do a deal that we call uh, Feel Good Friday. We like to always uh, communicate with our people. And we talk about relationships matter and making sure that people uh, you, you're able to tell your story with some things that you saw in that person. So now we challenge them to use that same videographer. Or that videography method and tag the person that you want to compliment or highlight on a feel good Friday. So that has been something that has blown up. So most recently, um, we I went to a uh, one of our community churches and uh, got a chance to go and visit them as we try to do with a uh, organization we call Friends of Faith. We connect many of our churches in our local area together to be a partner uh, in education with our local school district. And so one of the friends of faith pastors, Pastor um, Randall McDonald. So we definitely want to give a shout out to him and thank him for his uh, invitation. So I got a chance to go and visit and uh, I ran into a former student uh, who was a student when I was actually the high school principal on the Chapel Hill High School campus. And uh, he was talking and we you know, gave pleasantries and hugged. And uh, he told me, thank you for coming today. And he said, hey, Mr. Dean, would you do me a favor? I said, sure. What is it? He said, when you go back on campus uh, next week, would you go and tell Aaron Steele, uh, who is a history teacher in our district? Uh, man, just tell him I said, hi, thank you so much for uh, what he did for me as a student. And I said, hey, you want to tell him yourself? And he said, sure. And I told him exactly what I was going to do. Here we are in the foyer of the church and uh, we're sitting here talking. I said, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this and I'm going to put it on my Twitter. You're OK with that? He said, absolutely. I am. Oh, so awesome. I asked him the question. I said, hey, I'm here with a former student. He want to give a, a shout out to one of his former teachers. And he gave a man. He gave a chilling testimony, a chilling testimony about how impactful Coach Steele was for him. And uh, at the end, of course, I pushed it out on on um, on my Twitter. But what I also did was I sent that to Aaron Steele uh, and actually he didn't have his number in my phone. I sent it to his wife and said, hey, make sure you get that to Aaron. And, you know, just the power of encouragement. We're talking about encouragement, motivation. Right. People today, especially teachers who feel overwhelmed, uh, maybe don't feel like that their work that they're doing is worthwhile uh, to be able to get that type of statement from a student. Is, right. 
we would say from the mouth of babes, to be able to encourage him and mm -hmm. others who see it to continue to do the work uh, that we all signed up to do to help impact children and change lives. Man, that was powerful to me, but it also showed me that nugget that I was able to get from you at that session and how that has really impacted my leadership in such a short mm -hmm. time. So uh, for that, I thank you. Well, they, you know, the as you're as you're telling this story um, about this, the the whole premise, uh, and I don't know if you you've read uh, because of a teacher. We wrote because of a teacher, because of exactly what you talked about is that so many teachers have had this tremendous impact on so many kids, but they rarely know about it. They and they they I guess innately know they've done it, but they don't necessarily hear from the kids they served. So yeah. we wanted to make sure that we were you know honoring teachers from our past that have had a tremendous impact. On, on so many other people. And there, there's two things I want to share that really kind of struck me as you're talking. As soon as I saw you do that post, you tag me, I was so excited about it. I started digging through your Twitter. Yeah. So I don't just see you highlighting the adults. Then I see you with kids. Then I'm like seeing you do this stuff over and over again. And what's really kind of cool about this in education. And I, I, I truly believe um, in my first 10, 15 years of education, um, we have grown way more in the last five. And my belief is because, because of the access that we have to one another. So I took your stuff. I blogged about it, highlighted it. A bunch of people see my blog, um, of your work. And then they're like, I'm going to start doing this. And so it's not just that it really makes a difference in Chapel Hill. It then starts to spread out through education. And you were talking about this earlier. We want to help kids no matter what school district they're in, yeah. right? 